stuff, you know, fixing the transmission, uh, a couple other things, need some new relays, probably need to take care of the catalytic converters being clogged up, but no, we're not working on the transmission today, we're not working on catalytic converters today, or the exhaust, or any other little problems I have today, we're going to put in a Cobra CPI 490 400 watt inverter, uh, one thing I don't like, one thing I was trying to avoid, was it's got USB as well as the two 120s. Didn't really want USB, but after I placed the order and it was on the way, I'm kind of glad it uh, came that way. And I'll tell you more after I tell you about this little guy. Now, when I ordered this, I only wanted one with a power port, but that one was 10 bucks. This one was 12 and it has two 5 volt, 2.1 amp. USB plugs. Now if you're buying any kind of USB power plug, get the one with 2 amps or 2.1 amps because that will really put the smack down on your device. It will really uh, charge it up quick. Now the reason I'm glad this, I, I really didn't want that either because you know I've already got USB in the truck, but kind of glad I have it because now I can stash this where I plan to mount it is under the seat so I can charge my little faux pro and I can charge my phone and not have the cable going from there stretching across to uh, the seat. First world problems, right? But it, it just it just feels like it was in the way, constantly bumping it with a gear shift. So yeah, this will get it to where it's under the seat. I can stash my uh, faux pro, my camera batteries, whatever's charging my laptop. I can stash it under the seat and kind of keep it uh, out of mind, out of sight. So, yeah, that's why I'm glad it's got this. Plus, that inverter is going to be, it's not going to be a permanent mount. Um, I am going to be using the power port adapter because I want to be able to take it out of the truck and stash it in the Audi. So, the new power inverter having USB in it, the Audi will now have a rear-mounted USB whenever I'm traveling instead of the, the two USBs in the front. Um, it's got a power port in the back, so I don't have to do any weird wiring for this. It is already out of mind, out of sight. Jacked that in, and I got a USB port in the back of the Audi to charge my faux pro, and I can charge my laptop and my camera batteries in the Audi while I drive as well. So, let's get the mountain. I was going to be clever and build a box, but uh, I found this. Somebody gave me cookies or something in it, Christmas cookies. So, why build a box when you already got one? I suppose I should do something about that hideousness, but I think I'm just going to, maybe I'll scuff it up a little bit before I start drilling holes, and uh, yeah, I think I got some spray paint laying around somewhere. That way it's not quite so garish, and uh, well, let's get to building. Got my box. Ryobi green monstrosity and a Christmas tree that These things are vicious for knocking holes in metal. I thought I was going to have to do something with these screws, but I think tightening these glands up will be plenty. I'm just going to put that where I want it. Rough approximation. find the center of these two holes and I missed badly but hey ow 
hot metal into the hand. Lots of hot metal going everywhere. Youch. Needs more bigger. Still more bigger. And there we go. concerns was getting the screws to stick in this tiny little box, this really, really flimsy thing. I probably could have cut those holes with a pocket knife. So if you're doing something like this and you have this one of these tens that you picked up at Hobby Lobby or Tuesday morning or something like that, I mean really, honestly, you don't need a drill to do what I did. Take a little more work. We go for wiring came with these guys it's already got the little piggy tail on there so that's pretty cool and on the back of these it's got a hot and a cold labeled already it didn't really give me enough cable to mess with but that's okay and it's got these little plastic covers on there so you can keep the hot side hot and the cold side cold, like the uh, Mac DLT. And that's that. Now I just need to knock a hole in it. What for running the wires through? And this is overkill for that. That's that. That's the workshop portion done. Now welcome to Little 50's dashboard. This bit right here, I'll get my fingers under it, comes off really easily. That's all there is to it. And I hope you weren't watching when I did that. Hidden fasteners. You know, they're always saying they don't make them like they used to. They're right. Suckers made better than they used to. Construction in here, there's less of it. It's easier to get at. Kind of makes sense how it comes apart and goes back together. I'll be able to get this. I got this apart without breaking anything. That is the plastic cover. It looks like just a plastic cover, but it's got that thick, thick steel backing. That's gonna be Skookum. Spot for options, I guess. Neato. It's time to see if I can get at what I need to get at now. All that was for nothing. I'll take you with me. You see that up in there? Faint green thing up in there is what I'm after. What I think I might do though is a 
attack that instead. You know, this thing won't try to focus on my face, but it'll sure focus on a screw hole. That's the harness that goes to what I'm looking for. I wonder if I can just poke that and tie into that instead of trying to dig up in there. Makes tearing all that off useless. But if you're ever trying to do what I'm doing and need to tie into the power port of their cigarette lighter, that plug right there. Uh, no, I don't think you can get it without tearing the dash apart. But it's only two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven fasteners and some swearing. And uh, you're right there at it. So, yeah, piece of cake. Now let's see if I can make something happen. All right, so the book didn't help much. So, get the meter out. And start poking. That one right there has got more or less 12 volts. As does that one. So, I can tie into either wire, it looks like, and get the power I need. Piece of cake. I think I've got everything I need, so I'm gonna start cutting. Some sticky, sticky, sticky electricians tape. Electrician, like sticking, electrician. Great Google Mooga. There we go. If I didn't care about the wires, I'd just hack away. But I really don't want to cut into my wires. Cut two of these. Ow, hit my head on the steering wheel. Ow, hit my head on the steering wheel again. The steering wheel's tilted up as far as it'll go. I'm gonna cut close to here to the end. So everything's easy to get to. So my blood drawn crimpers. Crimpers are given to me. And you know what they say, give towards mouth. But that stupid thing has bitten me so many times. I don't want those wires touching because they're hot. Now what I got to do the job with are these. It's not what I wanted, but it'll get the job done. It's the only thing somebody had on hand that I could pick up today, so I'm gonna be using those. I'm being defeated by a piece of plastic. Yeah, that's what I thought. Crimp number one. There's 
item number two. And the plastic is beating me again. I will need four of those. And now you can see, I think, why I didn't want to use those. Uh, they're kind of hanging. So what I'm going to do is break out the electrical tape and clean that up. And make sure those don't short because that's ground and that's constant hot. So I'm going to go grab some tape and clean that up. I'm only going to put this on temporarily because I still have to run two strands of wire under the carpet to get to these so i'm just gonna just as a precaution wrap these up if i really wanted to be really cautious i would have pulled the fuse <laughs> but yeah that would have been the smart thing to do One ought to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and hit both. Don't want anything throwing sparks. All right, that's it for that for right now. Let's pull some wire. I don't know how much wire I needed. All I had at the house was 18 gauge, and I wanted bigger wire. For this project if you're shopping for wire I'm sure everybody already knows this but American wire gauge the smaller the number the bigger the wire I had 18 gauge wire in the house for my previous project I wanted 14 gauge for this it's probably overkill but Better safe than sorry. Once again defeated by plastic. Jeez. What I wound up doing is just shoving the coat hanger through. I had to pull another cover off. But I found it. Now I just gotta tug it through. some insulation but I got it and I got it with room to spare this is being more difficult than it should be to get loose get out of my life there we go Alright, there's where we are right now. That's my wire, that's my trash. So now, cut, strip, splice, run some more wires. Flesh manglers. 
yeah, get something caught in there. Especially that bit. I don't remember which end I need. So I need that one. Yep. Good to go. Nope. Not that one. I almost screwed that up. Now to route it away from any kind of movement or anything it might catch on. Or sharp edges. Ow! Like that sharp edge right there. And black is my ground. Did not leave myself a lot of room for this task. Now I can undo the other side. Ow. Why didn't I just pull the fuse? Go for strain relief. Gonna use zip ties. And that's a difficult bit done. Now I'm just gonna put the dash back together. There's the doohickey what keeps my feet warm when it's freezing cold outside. Ah, lost my speed nut. Hi, caramba. There we go. Now for the other side. Like a dashboard again. Huzzah! That was not that difficult. Reset. Couldn't find my doohickeys. It's already been stripped, but very poorly. Let's do it again. And the hole is not big enough for the connector to go through. Wouldn't doubt. Faucet. And now for some patented strain relief. Shouldn't have done that. I think I heard something go pop. And these plug up just like that. Make sure there's no spark of thingies in my box. Now let's see if it works. No light on that either. So that tells me I blew a fuse. Like a dummy. Let's fix that. All right, after some frustration there, a little wire touch and pop the fuse. Knew I should have pulled the fuse. However, I would have pulled the fuse for the cigar lighter data link connector. Because that makes sense, right? They're right next to each other. Power port, cigar lighter. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. It's, it's not even in that fuse panel. The fuse for the power port is 
is under the hood. It's right there. Right there. I had to read most of the stinking manual to find it, but I spent way too long tracking down that burnt fuse. But you see it? See that? USB works. Focus. Yep. Whoop, there we go. USB works. Inverter works. So now, just gotta stash them in their home. All right, so now all I gotta do is locate this stuff where I want it. I may have to shorten the wire some. Not a big deal. I've already got little Velcro pads. This stuff sticks really well in the Audi, but it's kind of sort of sticking there. I might have to employ zip ties. Not sure. I'm really not sure what I'm going to do about securing that. That's not sitting still very well either. But I'll stick it in the hole where I want it and see if I can make it stay put. In this hole already, there is the box that my iPod jacks into. And the idea, I think, is to get it in front of that because I got plenty of room. Oh, fail. Fail. Ah, bummer. I'm gonna fish it through, through the front. Well, that's one good thing. It won't come sailing out from under there under hard acceleration. Back up and have a rethink. Thought I might have to embig in that hole. incidental tugging from pulling this thing out of the hole. Now to make this thing proof against the stupids and to help the next guy out because uh, I am the next guy and I do uh, I do make some dumb mistakes. What I've done ground gets the mail tab hot gets the female tab. That way it can only plug in one way. We don't go reversing the polarity of the jelly baby or nothing. Wrap up my connections so they don't short inside the box. Take that stinking fuse under the hood out. That can live there. And this fella here might not be able to live there. I might have to do it reversed. Yep, like that better. Let's go put the fuse back in. Walk around. Put the fuse back in. Goes in that hole right there. Go see if it works. Blue lights on means it works. But that's what I got. There's my power box, power port. Yeah, right there's my little inverter. So this way, while I'm driving, can charge up laptop, camera batteries, whatever. And they're hidden out of sight. So, little 50 gets, turn my light off, ah, I feel like Yoda. Little 50 has got auxiliary power now, and a USB port charger for my phone. One thing though, once Vladimir sees how 
knew my garbage is, he might not think I'm quite so badass in my own right as he thought I was previously. Anyway, thanks for watching.